Hi guys, Brand here, and welcome to another commentary video. This one's going to be slightly more on the ranty side, uh, not too intensely so, but I don't have a lot of bullet points for this one, so we're probably going to go completely off the rails here. <laughs> I was watching Spook and Juke's video the other day, the recent one they put up about the, um, the, <laughs> the guy who like to call people communists and all that wonderful stuff. That guy, you know, that they just made another video on. And there's some pretty interesting takeaways from that video. There was some pretty not so great takeaways like the finding out how not so great of a person that that guy ended up being but i think one of the interesting takeaways and the best conversations that i heard from that that on a like a casual level that was good for us for the dead by daylight community was spook and juice's uh analogy of the battle royale uh, when it comes to player entitlement because i thought it was really interesting and actually fully encapsulates the problem that a lot of us have with dead by daylight is the entitlement among players and how it just like truly doesn't make any sense so if you have not seen the video very shorthandedly i'll go over it for you um at least this little section is that uh the guy who uh i believe was just simply referred to as goober <laughs> uh the goober uh was being fairly hypocritical because they, you know, always criticized killers that they faced for sweating, tryharding, whether that be camping, slugging, tunneling, um, and basically any sort of like attempting to win on the killer side to them was off limits. But then they would go and do those same things themselves, like tunnel people out five gens and sweat and all that wonderful stuff. So there was a lot of hypocrisy going on with that player in particular. But what the topic got onto is Spook and Jukes is like kind of what they're known for, which is their basement Bubba and Goober decided to criticize Spook and Jukes for not giving the people that they would hook in basement a chance. Um, but which Spook and Jukes had a very, very good retort that I think encapsulates like a, encapsulates a lot of like the DBD community's mindset when it comes to this and a very unhealthy mindset at that, which is if you loaded up into a battle royale and you dropped in and you didn't get a weapon, you're going to get bodied. If you're unfamiliar with battle royales, you you all drop in and it's like a, you have to scavenge. You don't. You know, it's not like COD where you load in with a loadout, right? Like you got to go find something. <laughs> and if you don't find something, you just get host, and that's just how it is. Um, they proposed the very very funny scenario that oh wait that guy doesn't have a gun. Don't 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 go after him. Let him find something first. Which obviously nobody would do, right? Obviously they just take advantage of it, send you back to the lobby, and then you you again, and then that's it, right? But dbd players in that same scenario would be like no 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 no! give him a chance let him go get something let him go get something so he can defend himself even though we're on opposing sides we're not on the same team we're not we're not friends ooh, ooh, ooh. just give him a chance you just gotta just give him a chance i think it's so funny that th that this is like a mindset the dbd community has for multitude of reasons that we will get into but i find it just so funny because this is a game where you can rig the results in your favor so heavily if you choose to like if something goes wrong in a game and you really really wanted to win and it, like that was like the only way you were going to have fun you could have rigged the game in such a way that you would basically win no matter what or be, have a very slim chance of losing like with survivor like running quad meta perks bnp and going to like eerie of crows that sets you up for a victory in nine times out of ten if you play killer and you run quad slowdown and you go to a really weak map like midwitch you're going to win nine times out of ten, <laughs> especially if you play a stronger killer like nurse like you. You if winning means that much to you, you can set yourself up essentially in that 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 battle royale example to always have a weapon when you drop and have the best weapon when you drop. And that is not something that is available in battle royales. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't just drop in with the best weapon possible and just mow everybody down. Uh, it just yeah, that, that's just not how that works. <laughs> so I think it's just funny that even in the like that example that like which works really, really well, it's like DVD players have more agency over that situation than even that example. But they choose not to take it and then just complain about the game anyway. And that kind of leads me to my greater point. And I, 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 I feel like I've talked about this in a react, but not in an actual commentary video before is I just find the juxtaposition of gamers and dead by daylight and their mentality to the game so weird when it comes to the I don't care about winning your sweaty argument because intrinsically that statement of I don't care about winning means that intrinsically taking an L taking a loss should not upset you because winning wasn't your only objective. That's not to say that like matches can still be not fun. Absolutely. When I play Survivor, I don't care about winning or losing. I'm just there to have like chill and have a good time. It's not my primary role. I don't care about winning on Survivor, but there's still things that are very, very frustrating that happen, right? And it's totally fine to you know occasionally be like, well, that match sucked. I just kind of wanted out of that. I faced a comp twins the other day. 
Do you enjoy spending four minutes on the ground? I don't either. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't enjoy that match either. <laughs> but like by and large, when I lose the survivor, I'm usually fine. Usually the thing that frustrates me on survivor is just like teammates that should know better making poor decisions. Um, that's it. Everything else I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't care if I win or lose. It's survivor. Who cares? But in most players that play DVD, their reaction to losing despite not caring about winning is so ferocious and so furious with either the game or the person that sweated. It's like, if you didn't care about winning so badly, how come ha eating an L or having a loss upsets you so adversely? Like, wi clearly you do care about winning. Clearly you do care about winning. And that's kind of what this, like the rest of this like video gets into uh, that Spook and Jukes had with the, with Goofy Goober uh, was that, yeah, you do absolutely care about winning. <laughs> you, you are what you hate to play against, which is fine. But you know, in that case, just own it, which is kind of like what I wish more Dead by Daylight players would do. I wish they would own it because they tried to parade themselves as, oh, well, I'm just so chill and I'm just out here to have a good time. I and you're the one that's really, really bad because you take a party game too seriously and sweat too hard. It's like, no, if you care about winning, that's fine. And that's OK. It's a versus game. It's a PvP game. It's a group of certain players against one player. It's a group of four people against one guy and they go back and forth and somebody eventually comes out on top. It's only a team game between your fellow survivors. If you're playing on the survivor side, even then some people play survivor only with the interest of getting themselves out <laughs> and playing as selfishly as possible. So that's not even always the case. It's a versus game at the end of the day. So if somebody really wants to win or really tries to win, it's a versus game. Somebody is going to get the W either way. And some people care about the getting that W and some people do not. My thing is just like with anything, just own it. Just own it. Just be you. If you care about winning that badly, just say you care about winning that badly. I think it's just one of those things that in gaming in general, it just I feel like like being sweaty in general is just kind of like a insult that people hurl around a lot. And I feel like in general, it's just way, way harder to admit that I was just as sweaty as you or wanted to win just as badly as you. And I didn't, and I lost. And that's a, that's a hard L to hold. It's a hard feeling to accept is like, I actually really, really wanted that. And you directly got in the way and you took it from me. It's, 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 it's you conceding to the other party, which is, you know, for most adults, a normal mature thing to do is just either say GG's or if you are so tilted, if you are so fr frustrated with the result, just go next. If you are mad, you don't file a false report against them like Goofy Goober did. You don't leave negative comments in their profile. You just go next. That's what I do. When I get super mad or super fur furious with a game that just didn't go well, I just go next. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. It's okay to be mad about something that you were interested in, something you care about. But like pretending you don't care and be like, well, you ruined it because you're bad. Like, it's like. Just own it, man. <laughs> like, it's OK to care about winning the game. I don't know why it's like such a such a, a a black mark, a curse to openly say you care about winning in Dead by Daylight. Like, it's I don't know. I guess if I had a TLDR to this, I know it was more ranty and I warned you about that. <laughs> uh, but if I had a TLDR to this, I think it's just that I wish people were more honest about how much they cared about winning Dead by Daylight instead of trying to always blame the other side for playing in a way that ruined their fun when Hey, maybe if you weren't riding all of your fun on victory and then pretending that's not what you were doing, maybe you'd have more fun games. <laughs> maybe if you were just more honest with like your intentions and what you wanted out of a game of Dead by Daylight, you would enjoy it a bit more. These kind of videos are usually really, really hard to do because I'm just trying to talk about like in a vacuum, a specific group of people that like say they don't care about winning and actually do and then get really angry and frustrated and take it out on other people. I'm talking about like that specific group of people. Usually when I refer to people like Kind of intentionally creating their own misery in Dead by Daylight. There's always the, um, actually, DVD is just actually frustrating. And gee, I can't believe you're like discounting people's experiences. That's what I'm doing. I'm talking specifically about those gamers. Like I said, I, I gave an example in this video about how like I faced a comp twins recently and it was miserable because I spent most of the game slugged and not playing. <laughs> like not having the ability to play the game was really boring and I just wanted out. But since there's no bleed out mechanic on the floor, there's no give up mechanic on the floor. I just had to sit and wait for that twins to play the game. <laughs> and I was like, I could have been in like halfway through another game right now, <laughs> but like it was it was annoying. So like I I get it. I understand. I'm not saying everybody who doesn't enjoy DBD. It's all their fault. I do not say that. Making that clear. Making that clear, because if I don't make it clear, I'm going to have to like 
like talk about in the comments down below for a lot. So, yeah, I didn't say that. So don't say that I said that. I'm happening a lot lately, recently. I don't know if this is going to be part of the video, but it's been happening a lot recently <laughs> where like I'll be like, oh, well, two plus two equals four. And he's like, oh, well, you hate the number five. I'm like, that's a whole other video, though. <laughs> like DVD players, like DVD players especially have a problem with, oh, I like waffles. Oh, so you hate pancakes, don't you? That That is the DVD community to a T. That right there, that's its own other video. We're not going to get make this like a 20 minute video because that's a whole other rant of just like, hmm, I feel called out, even though you did not mention anything having to do with anything having to do with me. <laughs> so I'm going to freak out and get mad. Like I said, a whole other video for a whole other day, so. Yeah, what do you guys think of that kind of player? The one who says that they don't care about winning, but then get very frustrated when they lose. What do you think is the source of that? How do you feel about it? Let me know down in the comments below. But that's going to be it for today's video, friends. But I do upload daily, so I will see you tomorrow. But if I do not, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.